I'm Beth McKinney and I have a design for you today that's a fairy mask. I've been thinking about these because we have a Shakespeare festival coming up in the spring for our school and I thought it would be fun to have some designs that I could use for that. I also wanted an opportunity to use my flora brush which I just got from facepaint.com and it's great for making petals, really large petals. So I hope you enjoy today's design and I'll see you at the other end. For this design, you'll need Paradise Light Blue, Paradise Orchid, Tag Pro Blue, Tag Pro White, Diamond Effects White, a sponge, a number two round brush, a number six low Cornell flora brush, Mama Clown Iridescent Ice Blue Glitter, and your favorite floral stencil. Load your sponge with Paradise Light Blue and Tag Pro Blue and sponge these into a butterfly shape over each eye. Then take the other end of your sponge and load it with Tag Pearl White and highlight the inner area, the inner corner of the eye to make it a little bit lighter and soften that area. Add your iridescent light blue glitter right now while the design is still damp. Double load your flora brush first with Diamond Effects White and then with Paradise Orchid. Create two alternating rows of petals at about a 45 degree angle across the blue on each side of the forehead. Place a few small petals around the inner corners of the eyes so they don't end abruptly. Choose your favorite floral or swirly design stencil and load your sponge with Paradise Orchid and Tag Pearl White. Make sure it's not too damp because otherwise it will bleed under your stencil, but stencil that over your blue background. In order to have a mirror image on the opposite side from the same stencil, I took a moment to clean off my stencil and dry it very quickly before I did the opposite side. So you may want to do that depending on what stencil you use. Some of the floral stencils, people aren't going to be able to tell whether you flipped the stencil and got a mirror image or not. So it's not going to be really distinct, it's just meant to create a texture in the background. Once again, use your flora brush with Diamond FX White and Paradise Orchid to add more petals to the bottom section of the design and next to the eye to highlight it. Now we're going to add some of our fairy swirls, which really make these masks beautiful and delicate looking and very floral. So load your number two brush with some Paradise Orchid and make some swirls coming up in the center and also some swirls coming down on the sides. Then clean your brush, add some Diamond Effects White to that design by making swirls right over the top of the orchid swirls. They shouldn't all be exactly the same. Feel free to take some little turns and twists with it that give it a very fairy light look. And if you want to add more glitter to your design at this point, you could do that as well just to give it some extra sparkle. And as one final thing, go ahead and take your number two round brush and some Diamond Effects White make some small starbursts and dots throughout the design, adds a little extra visual fun to it and makes it look very fairy-like and delicate. So these little touches really add a lot to any design. Thanks for joining me today for our fairy mask tutorial. I hope you enjoy using it at your events and happy painting.